We're walking to find our Hanzir. Malta is nice! La, 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 la. Okay, they look like a rib gauge from a big whale, like okay. we're entering in a whale. <laughs> we're going in. Hello everybody, how are you guys? Another adventure today with Joseph again with me. Remember him from our last vlog about Lisa. We went up sailing now. We're going to visit a very interesting cave called El Lar El Hanzi. Lar El Hanzi. The piglet, the pig cave it's called. Or better or better found as how, how is it found, George? Lar Taslaleb. Lar Taslaleb, the cross. The cave, of the, cave of the cross. We're going down from here. We're going down there. We're at with Irda again, guys. We're finding our way through. We need to go down there right, in the valley. It's cold again today. It's 12 degrees Celsius, I think. It's a sunny day. Not not so sunny. There are some clouds, but it feels cold. Eh? We're walking through this valley with Irda. You remember it from our past flooding experience today no rain till now joseph it's dry as you can see and we're walking this way this way we're walking to find our hanzir right, this this cave our hanzir is located about 800 meters further down the valley okay opposite to this cliff facing facing west Okay, okay. We're going north. right now we're going to east, east, northeast. He knows all the directions, eh? I don't know anything about these things. <laughs> I just walk, search my destination, share it with you. But this guy is a guru. We're walking through, guys, and look what, what we're finding here. Oil along all this thing. Some Someone passed with the car here and was leaking oil or his sump got... Look, 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 there's a whole line. It's a whole trail, keep going up for a couple of My meters. goodness, what a shame, look, look, look. Woo! What a shame, what a shame. Vegetation. It's nice, eh? Malta is nice. La, 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 la. We're near Joe's. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right in front of us. Yeah. Arhanzi. <laughs> wow. It's here. Uh, Hansi. Uh, Hansi. Okay. And then it will be going in. Yes. Um, this cave, Ar Hansi, is also known as Larta Slalep. Medieval time, <laughs> it used to be used as a chapel as well. Okay, good. In fact, inside, there are a lot of graffiti, I mean, crosses. Okay, fishing crosses on the wall, both sides. And uh, as you are going in, uh -huh. looking to the side, it, it the, the sides of the wall of the cave they look like a rib gauge from a big whale like okay. we're entering in a whale <laughs> so a whale belly <laughs> let's go into the whale so we're going in lights on okay we're going let's go joseph is it fun yes no 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 oh, turn okay. it on 
Okay, okay now it's on. on. You lead, you lead the way. Vegetation took over here, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, we go in. Wow. Eee. on the other side as well. Oh, look, what is that? Okay. Wow. Look, look, look. What are these, Joseph? These are... That, that's the ribcage of the whale. Yeah, that's what, what I was talking about. Um, My good, how nice. To be honest, I have no idea how they are like that. I mean, if they are man-made... Ah, I think they are man-made, Emma. Or natural, it's difficult I mean, to say. Because um, they are equidistant, sort of. Yeah. I don't think nature would have done them the that cave, way, no? The cave is about five meter wide. Wide? Two meter high, two and a half meter, and about uh, 15 meter go to the inside. Inside okay. there at the edge, uh -huh. there are three more chambers, small ones. Okay, good. Crawl, to crawl in. Yes, can okay. we crawl Can we crawl in? Yes, of course. I want to crawl of in. Course. Of course. <laughs> What's interesting about this cave? Is this hole? What's this? Joseph. Up here. It doesn't go through, it doesn't no, seem it to doesn't go. go through. Um, but I think that means it's a natural, I mean, natural hole formed by water, you know? I think so. These caves are... Look, look, I think these are man-made, Mata. Probably they are. Because they are equidistant. Look, look. As I mentioned before, it uh -huh. used to be um, a medieval chapel. Yeah. So probably they, they have used these for some reason, yeah. Let's go there. Let's see. Ah, what's there? There are more inscriptions here. Look, look, crosses, more crosses. Mm -hmm. It's over there. And there's a bat above your head. Wow. Ah, uh, uh, let's not it's put a lot of light. Yeah. Over, because maybe it's hibernating. Another bat, another cave, another bat. Yeah. That one is this one is from the, the the smallest pieces we have in Malta. Yes, yes, not the Maghrebian no, species no. like I found in Aralek. They are beautiful, Joseph. Eh? Yeah, if you look at, for example, these, there's another cross here into this quadrant here. Okay, these are all. It's a design. It's difficult to say. I mean, it's not recognizable, but you can you can tell it's man-made. You see? And they are old because they are old. These are from medieval times. And, and, and there, that's another. Cross. They are not fresh, yeah. no. There's another cross, very clear, visible over there. Look. Here, here. Yeah. Good. Yes. And that one is similar, nearly exactly like the one which is up there in the upper of the Yes. So okay. this might indicate that Mr. Yule was kidding us, and maybe. So it, it, it means that probably that that tomb. It's older than the, the 1840s or whatever, because he claimed he did it as a it as a mono warrior sort of in 1840s. But we are thinking that they are way much older. Let's find something else here. So oh. there's that thing over there, and obviously CNG. We'll go through. We'll go, Joseph, to see we'll where it takes us. Ugh. Another engraving here. This is modern, though. Wow. The ceiling is not. This is not man-made, I think. This this cave. No, this cave not. That's uh, more red. red yes, <laughs> it went up. <laughs> Hope there's not a whole family of reds up there. Okay, kind of reds, yes. Kinds of reds. Uh -huh. These are the, the wild ones, you know, not like the domestic ones or the one you find in Zurich and stuff like that, so it's different. They are clean, I think. Yeah, yeah. They are clean. Uh, we find a small mot here. Oh, this is the first chamber. There's a small mot. I, I can see it's its size lighting up, I think. <laughs> so, what's in here? Okay, Joseph. Yeah, okay. Worms over there. 
and a niche. three a niche. <laughs> and these are roots three Coming roots from the top. who knows where from where did that rat go ah oh, there's another chamber even there's another chamber small Ooh, one. roots look look these roots guys we go through as well Joseph, come in. Oh, look, look, look. Okay. That that mouse went <laughs> went up. It was very close. Huh? We're in his habitat now. I think this one <laughs> could it be that this one was blocked with with stones, Joseph? In here. Huh. Yes. Um, that's maybe. a that's maybe. a collapse. You see? Ah, okay, it's collapsed. I thought someone. No, the cave. The blocked cave it. It was purpose. probably bigger. Yes, and maybe, maybe it got. Come in, come in, Joseph. Wow. It's nice, huh? But it doesn't go anywhere. No. Anywhere else. As you can see. Arhanzir. Arhanzir. <laughs> and the only thing we found here was a mouse, a little mouse. Okay. We're going out. Yes, yes, come here. Woo! This is amazing, another cave. You're true. <laughs> you have to be fit eh? <laughs> <laughs> to get through these things. Now we're enjoying the lights of our new Loom Cube 2 because my friends were picking on me because we didn't have enough light. Now, this problem is solved. Oh, look, look, look around, around here. Uh, Chantipit. Chantipit? Yeah. How nice. I'm going to do a little bit of that. What? Ah, look, good. 1904, 1904 over there. Maybe someone was living here by that age. Probably it used to be, you know, in the past. People used to live in here. Nineteen till the nineteen fifties, people used to live in caves here, and then Eric Beer and Dingley. We're out of this cave now. Hope you liked this cave as well, guys. It's called Arhanzi. Thanks, Joseph, for leading us through this. He's out already. We're going out from the balena's stomach. That, that, those are the, the ribcage of the of the whale. So we're going out. Thanks for subscribing and following. Until next time. Sahau Slim.